Alexa back with another video. Today we're going to be changing up the wheel color of my 2011 Jeep Wrangler JK. So um, as you guys know, this is a two-door white Jeep Wrangler and I've really been fond of adding black accents to it. So the first black accent that I would have liked to change is the wheel color. So as you guys can see, factory wheels as always. Um, but due to some of the accents that I've added, like these cowls here, my grill inserts and the headlight inserts, um, I'm really feeling the black accent. So of course I wanted to change my wheels to black. However, in the perfect world, I would have liked to have just bought some black wheels, but due to financial constraints, I cannot do that right this moment. So the temporary solution would be to use a peel coat, which is basically like Plasti Dip. Here, I can show you guys the can really quickly. All right guys, so here's one of the cans of the peel coat. Um, as you can see, this is a matte black color. So since I have five wheels total that I need uh, painted, I ended up getting six cans of these. However, when I was in the store, I'm not gonna lie, I got these from Walmart. When I was in the store, um, they only had so many cans of gloss black, which is the color that I really wanted. Um, so I ended up going with matte black and I was like, maybe I can spray most of the wheels with matte black and then do the top coats with the gloss black and hopefully that'll come out pretty nicely. So I have experience with painting wheels in the past. I'm not gonna lie, we did use, my 2007 Hyundai Tiburon was a uh, Plasti Dip. Uh, it had the wheels Plasti Dipped and unfortunately, uh, maybe like a week later, I took it to a car wash and it came right off. Not all the way, but um, the corner started to peel. So I was a little hesitant about that. I took the Plasti Dip off the wheels of the Tiburon and I ended up going with just regular spray paint. Due to the conditions that I was in when I was uh, spray painting my wheels, I made a whole video about that. You guys can certainly go check that out. Due to the conditions I was in, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but you know, you live and learn. So if you guys are ever considering uh, Plasti Dipping your wheels, a few things to keep in mind. One, um, make sure you're not in a windy environment. Two, make sure you clean your wheels very thoroughly so everything can adhere to it. Also, um, make sure, let me close this door because it is freezing. Um, also, make sure that you, if you don't want to tape off your wheels, you can certainly use uh, index cards to place in between your wheels and your tires. So um, that'll save you a little bit of time. And uh, make sure you spray evenly and don't spray too much because then it'll start to clump. Due to it being so cold outside, I cannot apply the peel coat myself to my Jeep wheels. Um, so I'm going to take it to a shop. You guys might have heard me mention the shop before. This is RPM, Richmond Performance Modification. So I'm going to take it to them. They can uh, heat up the wheels inside of the shop. They'll apply it for me. And there's also going to be another surprise that I'm getting done to the wheels, which I will reveal to you guys when it's all said and done. But um, yeah, the shop is going to do it for me. Hopefully it turns out really nice. I'm really excited for it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys the process of them actually uh, spray painting the wheels because I have to go right to work afterwards. But that's why I kind of wanted to tell you guys, you know, if you wanted to do it yourself, this is kind of how you do it. So um, I hope that helps. But by the time I pick up the Jeep, it's probably going to be dark because it is that time of year where we get absolutely no daylight. So if I don't film it at night, I'll be sure to show you guys the next morning. But I'm really excited, so make sure you guys stay tuned and I'll catch up with you in just a minute. All right, guys, time for the review. Boom, black wheels, baby. But yeah guys, I am so happy with the results. Um, I'm not sure how many coats they put on the wheel, but I think they did a really good job. As you guys can see, I got my brake calipers painted blue. Love the accent, it matches with my uh, stem cap, matches with my Wrangler sticker right there. Even matches with my steering wheel cover and my floor mats both sides and I even got some blue right here on my uh, dial so you know I'm doing small subtle blue accents here and there but um, that was a really 
good idea for me to do that. At first I thought I was just going to do the brake calipers black, but they even painted over in this section. They got rid of a lot of rust. And definitely back here, this one rusted really bad, so they painted that black, so that looks amazing. And these brake calipers, they rusted uh, pretty quickly too, so I'm really happy with the results. I think it changed the whole face of the truck. And honestly, even if it wasn't perfect, that's fine. This isn't a show truck. I just really, really, really like the look of black wheels on most any cars, especially white vehicles if they have black accents. So um, I'm hoping that hopefully in the next year or year or two, I'll be able to uh, get a different set of rims. But for now, these stock ones look really nice. And this Jeep basically looks like this is how good stock can look. And I'm, I'm really digging it. I really like it. So as always, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. I do post twice a week, so there's always something cool for you to watch. So thank you guys again, and I will see y'all next time. And we out. Take care.